Today I'm standing on a piece of shag bark hickory. This tree was about 150 years old, local here in northern Illinois. And uh, I chainsawed this piece about a little, a little over a year ago. Let it let it season on its own. I rough it out and then uh, then came back and put the louvers in and refined the shape. I'm actually still doing a little bit of shaping up here. But anyway, what I'm going to show you is how I use the the fine multimaster. This tool has been around for, gosh, probably 20 years as far as I know. But the, this is an old one. The new ones, I bought this brand new back in 2003. 2003. Uh, the new ones have a toggle switch up here, uh, lever action to uh, let go, so the arbor can unclamp the tool. This is the old one, has the screw. So you got a little uh, six millimeter metric screw in there. What this is, is a putty knife. I've cut the handle off it and drilled a hole into it. If you're going to try that, it's really low speed and a little bit of cutting oil on a drill. Just be patient. It's really hard to cut through spring steel. You know, that thing's really hard. So this is a piece of bicycle inner tube or motorcycle inner tube, and I, I glue that on here with spray adhesive, and then I glue upon this little pieces of sandpaper. Here was one of them. It's worn out, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reline it, and I'm going to show you how I can sand in here and generate these, these uh, you know, fine lines within a tight spot down there. Um, I like the Norton Pro Sand. I buy them in the big, big packs. So here's my... I buy this stuff, 3M Super 77. There's a stronger one, but I actually like to be able to remove it. Then I'll let it sit for a minute. Or turn on my jet filter, which actually this is almost always running when I'm sculpting. Hold it in the, hold it in the wind, just a little minute. Not even a minute, just a couple moments. Stick it on there. Okay. So, upon using this, this it, it's it, sanding on this side is more controllable than this side. And a little bit of tip, because of its vibrating action, will want to make it run away. So it's one of those things, the more you do it, the better you get at it. it I depend on this tool. Uh, this initial path was made with a small chainsaw, but then it, it fades away into tighter gaps. Now, the tool that I used to get in there also for the fine multimaster. Now this is a knockoff brand, uh, some cheap stuff. I don't, I don't know. It's just a hacksaw, hacksaw tip. But that's how you know by vibrating you can plunge right in there. That's how I generated that movement. So if you, I can't even get my fingers in there yet. I'll, I'll sand it to a, to a perfect 1500 grit scratchless finish, um, just by doing that. Okay, so. Uh, Actually, I'm only going to sand with this up to up to 150. Past that, I'm making my own form tools, and these are old butter knives. Well, that's a what is that? Probably a bread knife or something. Anyway, I cut the ed grind the edge off of it, and it has really good flexure. You know, it has it's spring steel, so it's very it helps me to get around get around curves. Um, this is just an old cheap steak knife. You know, go to Salvation Army or Goodwill or something, get several of them. Then this is an old uh, wood wedge. I think that's redwood. It's very soft, very light. I actually don't want a hard wood on this because once in a while, in, upon sanding, the, the wood will bump the workpiece and, and leave a dent. So I want a softer material here. This is um, Proxon's little mini belt sander. I've had this thing forever and I hardly ever use it. It was useful in a couple spots in here, but I know people who depend on these for their, their items, but for what they produce, in, in art, I don't know. I'm still trying to find a use for it. But however, these guys, all the time, and I make my own arbors on that. I don't want to bore you with that. Just leave me a comment if you want to know how I make these, and because uh, most of them are homemade. You know, maybe I'll get into that one day. Um, there's another recent one. Whatever.
<laughs> we'll talk later. Bye.